Welcome to the kitchen table, the place where the jankiest budget eggs battle it out in a gauntlet for bragging rights and most of all for your viewing pleasure. Predict the outcome of the matches and you might win a booster pack sent to you by our sponsor Card Market. The only thing you need to do is predict the winner of the next match. All info is in the description below the video. Today we have a bunch of angry humans battle it out against the turtle tribal deck. And let's see what the decks have in store for us. The angry humans deck is a typical Boros aggressive deck with a lot of tokens and small creatures that get bigger. It also plays a sanitary lockdown to make the team stronger, uses Vigilance Justice and Kessig Malcontents to deal more damage and to create some more humans and to make them stronger we also have Elspeth Sun's Nemesis. The opponent is a turtle tribal deck with a lot of creatures with high toughness. And if the deck curves out well, it can go really hard because the creatures deal damage with their toughness rather than their power with assault formation and high alert. We also play some premium removal and just for the flavor and the meme, a uh, hot soup. And we're on our way. The turtles have some lands, some turtles and also an Aegis of the heavens. And the humans have a rather slow hand with an outlaw's merriment as a 4 drop which will create a lot of humans. I also see Talia, Heretics, Qatar and the turtles start with a seaside citadel. Now back to the humans, the draw is a plains and that will also be the play. No follow up back to the turtles. The draw is a Canopy Vista, that's a dual land. And now we are going to see some turtles hit the battlefield already. Here is our Riptide Turtle. It's an 0-5 with Defender, so it can't attack. And it also has Flash, so you can play it as an instant. Now the humans do have a turn to play, that's Talia's Lieutenant. And when other humans enter the battlefield, the lieutenant gets plus one, plus one. Back to the turtles now, what is the draw? Oh, it's a high alert and this is a really important card. Because creatures with defender can now attack and they deal damage with their toughness rather than their power. Uh oh. Now are we immediately going to see an attack? The smart play would be to play more creatures first, another Riptide Turtle and an Aegis Turtle. So that will be 15 power when the high alert hits the battlefield. Meanwhile the humans play Talia Heretic Qatar. So first strike 3-2 and it will slow down a little bit the turtles as their creatures will come into the battlefield tapped and their non-basic lands as well. Another turtle is the draw. So Canopy Vista needs to enter the battlefield tapped with Talia. Awaiting order. But now, here is the high alert. And now a big attack and the humans player is scratching his head. What to do, what a fast start from the turtles. Is he going to block and sacrifice his creatures? No, he's going to take 15 damage and hope to stabilize later. We need another creature. Yes, the draw is another creature. And Castle Arden Vale can also provide some blockers later. So let's see. At your service. I think we are going to see another creature enter the battlefield. Here is Taranika, a Crowan veteran. A 3-3 with Vigilance. And we have one mana open as well to boost one of the creatures. And Talia gets two counters now. Back to the turtles. What is the draw? <laughs> it's a hot soup. So in true Timmy style, the turtles will make hot soup of the angry humans. Because now we have one unblockable turtle with power 5. 
So it's game over. KO! Bye bye humans, you are now officially turtle soup. So the turtles will play against the ninjas. So we'll have ninja turtles in the semi-finals. But first a worm deck against a dragon deck. Now, do you want to win some boosters or just have some fun? Predict the winner of the next match in the comments and check out the deck decks below. And of course, always keep it casual. See you next time. Bye.